Guys, there's gonna be a lot of times in life where a lot of people are just not gonna root for you. I've noticed that when you're a young man, when you're figuring out your life and figuring out your way, there is some times when people will lend a helping hand. And for that, you just gotta be grateful for it. So I'm like grateful for all the times that, you know, maybe I've had a friend lend me some money or have had, you know, a friend's parent let me sleep on their couch or something. Or I remember I had a, one time I had a buddy who let me buy a car off of him, off his lawn and make payments on it because I didn't have enough to pay for it in full. So like little things like that, which really are actually not little things. They're, they turn out to be huge things because especially in the future, like now I, I appreciate those things so much because I truly believe if it weren't for those people that believed in me, when I was fucking down and out, I don't know where I would be. But there's a whole other aspect to it, right? There's a whole other aspect of using the tools that are available to you. You know what I'm saying? And taking matters into your own hands. And that's what I wanna talk about in today's video. And I get a lot of messages, guys, from a lot of people. And I love helping people, don't get me wrong. One of my passions is helping other men improve their lives, whether it be through fitness, helping them build their businesses, or just encouraging them in some way, shape, or form. That truly is one of my passions. I love giving back to, you know, this community of followers that I have on YouTube, Instagram, you know, TikTok's really where it all started, but now, you know, you guys know I'm more active on Instagram now uh, than ever, and YouTube, especially um, as I'm making this fucking video. So, guys, you have to believe in yourself. Like, you have to be the one to make the decisions, the hard decisions for yourself because there comes a time and there will come a time whether it's sooner or later. For me, it was around 25. And that's really a lot, you know, around where a lot of guys, you know, they're, they're met with those hard questions or should I say hard decisions that they have to make where, you know, a lot of guys are, they either graduated college or they're finally kind of, you know, starting to figure out, okay, this is what I want to do for my career. And, you know, as a young man, it's, it's already hard, right? Like it, it's, we don't necessarily need the encouragement of others, but it helps, right? But as a young man, you have to realize that there is going to be these times where you have to lean on yourself so hard. You have to trust your own intuition. There isn't always going to be someone there to give you advice. There isn't always going to be someone there to fucking, you know, help you fucking along the way. You get what I'm saying? And I learned this the hard way because, you know, and I, and I've, I've had this, you know, I've told this story before. And I remember when I was, I was working a bouncing job and I was dating this girl and I was like borderline fucking obsessed with her. Honestly, you know, she was a bartender at, at, um, one of the clubs I was working at and I was a, I was a bouncer and, you know, I was really, I love, you know, I really, I, you know, I fucking felt like I love this girl and I was pretty much broke at the time I was working at the club and then I was also working at Amazon, but I, I really wasn't really making ends meet, you know, I, I, I just, and then I had a car that was also breaking down. So I remember I would beg my brother, right? I would say, bro, I really need your help. Like you need to fi help me fix this car so I can get it back on the road and, you know, fucking, you know, see my girl. And I remember, you know, it seems, you know, in the moment, it, 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 I didn't know, at, you know, how important this moment was going to be for me. And he probably didn't either, but my brother, you know, I was begging my brother to help me with this car repair and cause he was good with cars and I had no fucking idea what I was doing, but I go up to him and I say, yo, bro, I really need help. Like, please help me fix this car. And I remember what he said to me. It was so like profound. It like honestly changed my life and changed my, my perspective from that moment. And he said, dude, like you have to understand that, you know, and he really, he went about it the best way he could. He said, I want to help you. I want to make this situation easier for you, dude. But you have to understand that I have my own fucking life. I have my own fucking problems. I have my own fucking things I need to worry about. I need to figure this shit out on your own. And I remember I was super fucking desperate for help. Like I had no car. Right. And I was hitching rides with people to work. Um, and I was, I was really, um, I felt helpless, you know, and I felt fucking depressed. And I remember in that moment, it wasn't immediate. It was more of a slow process, but it was like the seeds were now being planted and, and that scary feeling of 
that scary, really honestly frightening feeling of this shit's all on you started to set in for me. You know, around age, we'll say, we'll say 23, 23. And I remember I moved to California a little bit after that. And I remember fucking just walking around town, like knocking on fucking businesses, fucking doors and walking in and fucking trying to get jobs everywhere. And I just remember the hunger and the drive that I had every single day. I was broke, but I woke up every day. I'd eat my fucking eggs. I drink my fucking coffee. I would either work out in the early morning or fucking work out later in the day, but I was hungry. I was broke, but I was making shit happen. I was, I was really starving for success, honestly. And because I pushed so hard, I ended up um, landing myself in probably the best fucking case scenario I possibly could. Check this out. This is crazy, right? (laughs) So I keep hustling, right? So I'm, I'm now taking matters into my own hands, listening to what my brother says. I've, I've, uh, I've also told the story, not in a video about, but I, maybe I'll tell it now, but about, I sent an email to my father asking him for help to buy me a new car. He also was like, sent me a fucking crazy email back and was like, dude, you, you know, you're fucking entitled. You got to figure your shit out. You know, basically letting, letting me have it, letting me know, like, dude, you got to figure your fucking life out. I was, I was honestly acting like a bitch. In my early 20s, I was acting like a fucking bitch. I was scared. I was scared to take matters into my own hands. I was scared of the future. I was scared of what was going to happen. I didn't think I was going to be able to, you know, make shit happen for myself. I was fucking scared. That's the truth. Honestly, probably like a lot of you guys right now. And think about this for a second. I now own two businesses. I work when I, you know, want. I have on my own fucking schedule. I own my own life. My life is completely fucking different now. I have a fucking nice ass fucking Mercedes. I could buy another car really whenever I want. I probably will. I want to buy a truck. I don't know if I shared that with you guys yet, but I want to buy a fucking truck. Yeehaw. And my life is just different now. My life is fucking amazing. And I'm telling you, it's all because of those moments. I took those moments seriously to take charge of my own life and take matters in my own fucking hands. And it was scary. But there was something about it where... I could literally feel myself growing in real time because it was so scary and so uncomfortable. I remember when I had to save up for a car again. I had to save up for like a Toyota and I was hustling every fucking day eating tuna sandwiches and all this fucking, you know, just cheap shit, anything cheap that I could fucking afford. And man, those were some of the best times of my life. Honestly, I learned so much about myself and guys, you have to understand, you have to take matters into your own fucking hands after a certain point. Even a lot of you guys that are, you think because you're not taking money from your parents that you're independent, but you still depend on other people in your life, like your fucking girlfriend and your fucking wife or your siblings or your friends or somebody like, or the government or your job. You get what I'm saying? Like, there comes a time that where you have to understand that literally no one is coming to save you and you have to take matters into your own hands. So guys, I hope you got something out of this video. I urge you to just take charge of your own life. Do the scary shit, guys. It's fucking scary. You think it wasn't scary to fucking quit my job? I was set up. I was set up at my old job. I had an apartment, had a car, I had good hours, good benefits. I could have fucking stayed there. But I knew, I knew there was something greater for me. I knew that if I just took matters into my own fucking hands, I could live my dream life. I could live the life that I always wanted. So guys, I really hope you gain some value out of this video. If you want to work with me for fitness, get jacked as fuck this summer, learn the habits, learn a system that can keep you ripped year fucking round. You can click the link below, apply for my fitness program. If you want to build an online fitness coaching business, just like mine, I can teach you how to do it. I've already taught over a dozen people how to do it. Three of my students have hit $10,000 plus a month in their first month working with me. Five students have hit $10,000. Total students have hit $10,000 plus a month. And No Victim Apparel is my clothing company. We got some new releases coming out in June. Tank tops, shorts. We're restocking the flame tees. We're restocking the sweats. We're restocking the black chain break hoodies big month for me guys a big month for you guys because we're going to be doing giveaways and i just want to keep giving back with this content and keep serving you guys so i love you guys so much for real 
wouldn't be able to do this if it weren't for you guys, the people that believed in me, subscribed to my shit, follow me on Instagram, comment on my stuff, message me, support me, buy my shit. Wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. So I appreciate you guys. Appreciate you watching this video. Comment below some things um, that you want me to talk about, some more videos that you want to see. I appreciate everybody's feedback. I appreciate and, and value everybody's input. So guys, I appreciate you. Probably said that 500 fucking times, but can't say it enough. So no victim. Peace.